In this video, I will show how to interface a 16 by 2 LCD with PIC microcontroller from scratch without using any library function. I will be showing here a 4 bit parallel connection, but there is 2 wire interface or I square C also which can accomplish this connection, but that may be a topic of my future video. The typical 16 by 2 LCDs use the display driver IC Hitachi HD44780. So, I will collect the necessary informations for this interfacing from the HD44780 datasheet. I am using PIC16F676 microcontroller for this project, although the code will be portable so that it can be used in any PIC microcontroller. At first, I will make the physical connection between display and uh, the microcontroller. PIC 16F676 has a total 11 IO pins and one input only pin, among which I need 6 output pins for this interfacing. I am choosing RC0 to RC5, however the choice of pins as well as the choice of microcontroller are not important here, because this can be changed in the software very easily anytime. First, I will collect the basic information necessary for this interfacing from the display controller datasheet. That's a slight healthy volume for a datasheet with 60 pages, but don't worry, I will be pointing the only necessary things from here. The very first thing to note, when we will send a data byte that is an 8-bit data uh, through this 4-bit line, the higher order 4 bits should be sent out first, followed by the lower order 4 bits, db3 to db0. Next, we should learn the data transfer process. From this timing sequence, we can see that the data transfer takes place when the enable pin goes from high to low, technically saying it's a negative edge triggered action. So, what I learned that I need to place the data bits on D4 to D7 pins, then I will have to make the enable pin high if it is low, then from high to low. With this much information, I can now start writing the program. To begin with, I am defining the macros for the interfacing pins with user-friendly names. That makes the code easier to write and debugging. Then I am setting the pins as output pin. In order to change the pin assignments, you will need to modify these lines only. Rest of the program will remain same. Now I will write a function to send a 4-bit data to the LCD. It will take an 8-bit data and send only the first 4 bits to the LCD. The LSB I will place on D4. To do that, I am masking out all the 7 bits leaving the LSB on D. Then I will place the second bit on D5. For that, I am right shifting the data byte by one place so that the second bit comes to the LSB position. Then I will mask the data leaving the LSB on D. In the similar manner, I am placing the third bit on D6 and fourth bit on D7. Now, in order to latch the data into the LCD, I am pulling the enable pin high, giving an 1 microsecond delay and pulling down the enable pin. At this point, I will give a 40 microsecond delay because according to the datasheet, it takes at least 37 microseconds to write the data into the RAM. I will write two more functions, one for sending a command lctcmd and another for sending a data or character lcdwrite. The only difference between sending a command and sending a data is that RS pin should be low while sending a command and RS should be high while sending a data. Rest of the process is same. The higher order 4 bits should be sent first. For that I am calling the LCD send 4 bit function and since this function sends only the lower order 4 bits, I am right shifting the data by 4 places. In the following line, I am sending the lower order 4 bits. These two lines will be exactly same in the LCD write function also. 
Now I came to the data set once again for knowing the initialization process. It says after power on the module we should wait at least 15 millisecond after reaching the VCC at 4.5 volt or wait at least 40 millisecond if we count from the time VCC reaches 2.7 volt. Since peak microcontrollers can turn on even below 2.7 volt, so I am giving a delay of 50 millisecond. Pulling down the RS and enable pins, next we need to send a 4 bit data 0011 or 3 in hexadecimal, then wait more than 4.1 millisecond, I am giving a delay of 5 millisecond. Again send 0011. Wait more than 100 microsecond. I will put a delay of 150 microsecond. Send 0011 once again. Then send 0010. In the following sequence, we will need to send 4 commands. First, a display function set. In the display function set command, bit db5 will be 1 for setting 4 bit mode dl equals to 0. n is the number of lines in the display. As we are using a 2 line display, n equals to 1. f stands for font. f equals to 0 denotes 5 by 8 dot font and f equals to 1 select 5 by 10 dot font. Generally, we prefer the 5 by 8 dot one. So, f equals to 0. After function set, the next command is display on off control. Here, we need to write 3 bits d, c and b. For display on d equals to 1, c equals to 1 will make the cursor visible and b equals to 1 will blink the cursor. I do not want to show the cursor, so I am putting c equals to 0, b equals to 0. The next command is display clear. The code for this command is given here 0000, 0000, 0000 001. There is no optional bit here. It takes around 1.5 millisecond to execute the clear display command. That is why I am writing here a delay of 2 millisecond. Now the last command for the initialization process is the entry mode set. Inside entry mode set command, we have to decide two bits i slash d and s. About i slash d, this paragraph says increments or decrements the DDRAM address by 1 when a character code is written into or read from DDRAM. It did not make proper sense to me, rather, this sentence helped me to understand the function of i slash d. It says if i slash d equals to 1, the cursor will shift right every time we will write a character. Conversely, i slash d equals to 0 will make the cursor shift towards left. We want to right shift, so i slash d equals to 1. s equals to 1 will shift the display instead of the cursor, means when a new character will be written, all the other characters on the display will be shifted to make a room for the new character. We do not want this function either, so s equals to 0. The initialization process ends here. Now I will write a function to print a string on the LCD. We will consider the string as an array of characters and the address of the first character of the array is passed to this function. Inside this for loop, the characters are sent to the LCD one by one until it hits the int character.
I am declaring the functions now we will try to print them two magical words hello world like my other projects i will upload the code for this project also in the github the link i will give in the video description building the program uploading the code unfortunately this attempt was a failure when I tried to find out why it didn't work I didn't find any problem in the code and that made it even more difficult to figure out after two days I found the root of the problem within the data set of fix 16f676 and that was very silly. Here it says to use analog input pins as digital pins we should clear the and shell register first. Then I rebuilt the program writing and shell equals to zero before writing the trace register. Reprogrammed the microcontroller. and this time it worked as expected to make the program more useful i have written a few more functions also i have replaced the command codes with macros which i defined in the beginning of the program that will give an added flexibility to the program With this, I am concluding this video. I hope you found this video interesting. If so, please hit the like, share with your friends and please don't forget to subscribe this channel. Thanks for watching. I will be meeting in the next video. Bye.